Hi, this is Greg Jones with Sidel Sales and Service. And today we're going to uh, discuss um, a minor annoyance that, uh, that we have um, on our chromatics, Sidel chromatics. And so uh, a customer writes in, this harmonica has a buzzing sound on the three hole blow. I tried using paper to clean it. That didn't work. Or it works for a minute and then it starts buzzing again. So that's a very common problem. It can be really annoying and, and distracting uh, for harmonica players. And so let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, buzzing and uh, buzzing sounds and that, that clicking noise that sometimes you'll hear when you're playing a chromatic, uh, those noises are from the valves, which are um, basically slapping against, uh, against the reed plate. And um, so I can show you uh, a little bit of, um, maybe show you an example of one. In this case, I've already removed the covers. And if you will look closely, and I know that it's real hard to see with the glare, but if you'll see on the this reed, right, this uh, valve right here, excuse me, that one right there, if you can see, it's a little bit curled. And I know it doesn't look like much, but it's it's actually sitting off of the plate, and I know that it's it's really going to be difficult for me to 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 show you how much. But this thing is is curled right at the tip, and it's it's coming across that plate, so it's not sitting flat. And so when it comes up uh, and slams down, it uh it doesn't come down flat, and that actually um, is what causes it to make a popping noise. And so let's talk for a minute about why that happens. Uh, the cause of that is condensation. So condensation is, simply put, is just moisture, uh, moisture that spontaneously uh, builds up on a surface. And why do we get condensation uh, on our chromatics? Well, condensation is caused when you have uh, warm air from your breath that goes onto a cool surface. And there's a chemical reaction and water forms on that surface. Well, that is bad uh, for a chromatic or, uh, because that, that water not only builds up on the plate, on the reed plate, but also builds up on the valves. And now we have weight on those valves, and that weight will cause the valve to be heavier, but you also have water on the valve, and that causes uh, the valve to warp and to not sit flat. And once that happens, there's, there's no repair that, that on that valve. It has to be replaced. So let's talk real quickly. There's a very, really simple way to uh, mitigate this uh, before it happens. We're not going to eliminate that. Uh, there's going to be some condensation that always builds up on our harmonicas. And in fact, sometimes condensation can, can build up uh, just from our harmonica coming from outside and into the indoors. So there's a lot of reasons it's going to happen. So we can't really eliminate this, but we can certainly, um, as I said, mitigate it. Uh, and one way that we would do that is an old trick, and it's called warming uh, the chromatic. And uh, if you are studying chromatic, you should be taking lessons, uh, and your instructor should have uh, gone over this with you, and you should have gone over it on your very first lesson. But it's very important uh, that before you start to play your chromatic, uh, you want to hold it up against, hold it up against your chest or in your hands, uh, like this, and you want to do this for several minutes because what you really want. What you want to have happen is you want that harmonica to warm up to almost uh, the temperature of your body or to the temperature of your body. And um, when you do this, then when the air from your breath goes into the harmonica, there'll be less condensation um, that will build up. So just a simple trick um, to possibly help um, help mitigate um, you know the valves curling and not sitting flat. Now, once again, I've said if a valve is not sitting flat and is curled, there really isn't um, much way to repair that. Um, that valve will need to be replaced. I have a saying that says a um, a, a, a poorly installed or a bad valve is worse than no valve at all. And so in some cases, uh, you're, you're better off just removing the valve altogether and going without a valve um, uh, than you would be uh, to, to play with a, a curled or bad valve. So anyhow, I hope, this, I hope this video helps. Remember, warm your chromatic before you start playing and uh, maybe we can reduce some of um, the valve problems. If you like this channel, if this is good content, I encourage you to like, subscribe, and um, also visit my website, 1623customharmonicas.com. Thank you again for tuning in.